Hashtag we are movie club. Hi guys, it's Charlie and welcome to a We Are Movie Club review and today I'm reviewing the 2013 film Olympus Has Fallen starring Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart and Morgan Freeman and this is one of the two films that came out in 2013 actually about the White House essentially falling and being destroyed. In this version though you have the president played by Aaron Eckhart you get the initial scene where he's going to a Christmas thing with his wife and there ends up being a massive accident which never gets fully explained but either way she dies as a result and he's left quite scarred and perturbed by it and then it flashes forward to I think the 5th of July of the following year and the, the Koreans are having a bit of a tiff the North are getting more edgy so the South Korean Prime Minister is in Washington to discuss these talks, except unbeknownst to him and pretty much everybody else, most of the South Korean cartel are actually North Koreans who are terrorists, so end up taking over the White House and getting themselves and the President trapped in the bunker underneath so nobody can get to them and threaten to turn America into a nuclear wasteland if they don't remove their troops from the Korean demilitarized zone. While you've got all this going on, you've got Gerard Butler's character infiltrating the White House and trying to get down to them. So you have the sort of action thriller elements to it there, with the final showdown in the bunker and the president being saved and everyone living happily ever after. It's a, it's an okay film, it's certainly not the best of the genre and I do have problems with it, but I do have things that I like about it as well, so let's jump straight into those. I liked the effects here. The visuals of the weapons and the explosions, but you know what I'm like. I really thought they were quite good and that they really added to, well, the realism of sorts of this film. It certainly didn't look out of place having those effects, let's put it that way. And the characters were relatively believable to a point as well. You know, Aaron Eckhart playing a president that's clearly still not got over his wife's death, and the son who is trying to cope with being the president's son but is still wanting to be a normal ten year old. It's a quite a believable bit of a dynamic. Um, um, Banning is, again, a very sort of heroic character, but you can see him doing this in order to atone for what he believes is a mistake that he isn't actually guilty for. So character wise it's pretty good as well and it adds that level to a film where you can sit back and really enjoy it but I did have one big problem. That was that the story is possibly a bit too unrealistic to suggest that this can happen as easily as it did, as in that the Koreans can essentially walk in and take the White House over, which is pretty much what they did. I had a bit of a problem believing it. You have to majorly suspend your disbelief here. And if you're prepared to do that, then yeah, fair enough. But I was sat here thinking, it can't be that easy, surely? But again, you know, if you're not watching this film for realism, then it's probably not going to be as much of a problem as I might be making it out to be, but for me it did jar it a little bit to the point where it, it takes the edge off the film a bit and it makes it go from a really good action film to a very middle of the road one, which is probably how I would review this in short, really. It's very middle of the road. But I reviewed it for We Are Movie Club, which is actually just two of us at the moment, but if you want to get involved and review the next film which I think is your next which if you give a quick google is a bit of a slasher um, feel free just review the film and upload yourself talking about it just like I'm doing now um, or just go back and watch this very average action film you do what you like thank you for watching I will see you next time